Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. I'm gonna do a beer. I'm gonna do a beer that I was excited as soon as I saw the bottle. Check this out. This is the darkest of the three. Let's just start with the dark side first, right? What the hell? The beast himself, Smaug. Smaug Stout. Let's see, who is this from? I don't even know. Fishtail Ales. Okay, this is their Hobbit series of ales. It has this one, um, Gollum, uh, Precious Pills, and Bolg. And that is a Belgian triple. So these are the next three beers I'm going to do. After that, got some other nice ones sitting here. From the Desolation of Smog. The Dragon Smog. Um, let's just see if we have the basic info first. 65 IBUs and uh, 8.5 alcohol by volume. Dragon Smog with Chili Peppers Imperial Stout. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, I wasn't actually. I just this is the first time I read the bottle. I bought it and just dropped it down here. I was gonna. I was actually wondering how they would they incorporate the smog in there if it was just smoked malts or. But they put the fire of the chilies in apparently. So what do we got? Just the slightest ruby hue from the bottom, but very dark. Just cocoa colored head. Really nice. Actually, really sticky. Sticky head, clingy head, definitely. Lots of alcohol legs, actually. Well, this I'm definitely keeping this bottle, whether the beer is good or bad. This bottle's getting kept. So let's let's get some aroma and see what we can get. It's pretty cool down here, unfortunately. Uh, the wood stove's not going right now. You can get them. You can get that kind of hot pepper essence. I can't really describe pepper very well. Just the smell of it. Not spice. Not not not. Um, like black pepper, but this is this warming aroma of fresh cut peppers. That's in there mixed with the with the chocolate and the coffees. This is way too cold, unfortunately, and I'm really ticked off that I started this review with this way too cold. In my perspective, this is way too cold. But let's give this one a go. All right, cheers. That's a charry bitch. That's really roasty, really toasty, really charry. You're definitely picking up that kind of bitiness, that bitey astringency from the, the, the chilies. You, you get a little bit of heat. Very soft though. It's kind of just playing along with the, the bitterness of coffee, the uh, astringency of the toasted and the, the charred malts, stuff like that. Just kind of laying on your tongue. It's really not too too crazy on, on the heat. Yeah, it's kind of weird. The the flavors of just like fresh uh, some chopped up peppers, like bell peppers or banana peppers. I don't even know the different types of peppers, but the flavor you get the smell and stuff that you get when you chop them. You're getting more of that than actual burn, actual heat. Okay. You're just getting more of a playful kind of mixing in with the astringency and the bitterness. You're just getting a little bit more of that. But you are picking up those those flavors. Um, not really much on the sweet side or on the coffee side. This is just really char, really roasted, um, toasty, and then adding to that chili. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's, let's sit this, give it a read. The dragon smog, after escaping capture by the dangerous woodland elves and dwarves, journey to Lake Town and finally the Lonely Mountain itself, where they must face the greatest danger of all, the creature more terrifying than any before, which will which will test not only the depths of their courage, but the limits of their friendship and the wisdom of their journey itself. The Dragon Smaug. New Line Cinema and MGM Studios. Let's see. Uh, lovely Rooney runes that I cannot translate right away, but my wife probably could. Um, the, Hobbit, the, the Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug. I mean, 
but smug. He's caught, he's awesome. And it's Leonard Nimoy doing the voice, and that just makes it extra awesome. <laughs> hmm. I don't know anything about fishtail ales. This is actually the first time I've ever heard of them. I don't know if they're brand new and this is their first line or not, so I have to go check them out. I would, I would doubt that a, a brewery would be right off the bat with a, a license from MGM and stuff like that, or, or I mean, I don't even know who does it, Warner Brothers or whatever, but I'll have to check out Fishtails Ales because this isn't bad, it's just a little bit more on, on that side of the room than mixing in with this side of the room. It's very just char, astringent, coffee bitterness, that, that, uh, that little bit of a lifted, perfumey floral note that I'm getting from the, the chopped up the herbal um, note from the chopped up peppers, or the chilies rather. It's got a, because it's, it's just more on the char side, not on the sweet side, and it's got more of a, a like a, a high medium mouthfeel going on too. It's an okay beer, it's a, it's a fun couple, little take on it. Nothing blowing the doors out, tastes you know, more like a stout than an imperial stout because of it's not like full, really full bodied or really, really, really complex or anything like that. But for what it is, it's good. Uh, I would just personally love a big kind of around your teeth that kind of tingles and bites you a little bit, you know, that kind of thing. That would be fun. And a lot of it, I'm saying that astringency, that bitterness. 65 IBUs, you might be picking that up, and it's kind of masking of what the, the, the chilies are actually doing. So I'm still going to give it an 8 out of 10 because I still do enjoy it. The label kicks ass. I'm not really judging it on the label. It's above solid. Um, it's above the 7.5 solid style. It's just under that 8 for me. I would drink this again, and I'm probably going to buy another bottle of it because I do like it. So, Smog Stout, Epic Label, got kind of a hard one right now. I'm not going to lie about it. It's been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.